Hey, hey, you guys. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today marks five years and 69 days of my ketogenic journey. The reason you see me laying down and everything, I will explain very soon. Um, and this is going to be kind of a quick video because, well, there's two reasons, which I'll explain also in just a minute. Anyway, if you want to follow a ketogenic journey that's honest, to the point, real life, no nonsense, no BS, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're in the right spot. This is where I tell you everything. Like, the reason I'm laying down. Which, by the way, is keto related. And, uh, the reason I'm holding my camera too, so. Alright, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell because it is time to rant, rave, cry, and misbehave keto diamond style. Getting a wee bit of grounding in. You can see I'm wearing the Halloween pants. Rocking those. Kind of like in my shadow here. <laughs> it's better than it used to be. Uh, neighbors, of course, they're quite loud, but it's okay. So if y'all hear somebody shouting and stuff, it's just people across the way a little ways. Oh, I feel so nice out here. It's beautiful. Rocking a Halloween shirt, too. <laughs> uh, anyway, just wanted to show you. Yep. Barefooted on the ground, checking out the little butterflies as they fly away, fly around. Here's the little shirt. <laughs> All right, so I'm holding my camera because for some reason I took my tripod outside today, was going to use it, didn't use it, and was thinking, don't forget that. And then I went to get it while ago and I was like, I forgot that. It's dark, it's cold. I ain't got any clothes on, I don't feel good, so I'm going to stay right here. Now, the reason I'm laying down, and the reason it's going to be a quick video, is because I'm suffering a little bit. I got got. I got got got. Irritatingly got. So, I've been a good girl pretty much all day. Nothing unketo friendly. This morning, I did have a Dunkin' coffee. It said it was made the way it was supposed to be made, and I have no reason to doubt that. Because what happened to me was about 12 hours later. So, uh, well, not quite 12. Whatever. We'll get to it. But it prompted me to take a ketone test. Let's... Mm -hmm. Thought as much. Uh, so, I believed I had just gotten got by what was supposed to be a diet soda. But, yeah, it was not... So, needless to say, yeah, that sucks. Now, what had happened was, hubby got off work at 5.30. Now, I have, again, done pretty much nothing all day. I've literally had just ham and cheese roll-ups all day. I had um, the Dunkin' Coffee, like, 9 o'clock this morning. And then, like, he got off at 5, and he came home with Burger King, which, of course, I took the, the bun off my double whopper with cheese. But he also brought home a diet root beer. Now, he says it tasted diet to him. And I didn't really notice any kind of real weird sugary stuff going on. And didn't taste any kind of special or anything. But it started hurting. And burping. And a lot of gas. And my belly started to swell and bloat. My feet are puffy and so swollen. I, I just cannot stop burping. I can't even tell you how bad I'm burping. And I drank it for a little while because I, I really wasn't thinking about it. Now, it was a super large cup. Y'all know how these big cups are. And I drank probably about that much of it. But, you know, it's a big wide brim on that cup. So, it's probably a good eight ounces, I'd guess. Um, or maybe even more. I don't really know. Um, before I really started feeling the effects and feeling pain and bourbon and bloated. And my pants feel tight now and they're stretchy. They have not been tight all day long. Cute little 
pumpkin pants. Now I feel like a pumpkin. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it put hurt on me. Sure did. Can't wait to weigh in in the morning because that's probably going to be two or three pounds. But again, it didn't. It didn't feel bad. It didn't feel like anything special was going on. Um, I mean, not didn't feel bad. It didn't um, taste. The hell is on me? <laughs> I got gooey. Anthony got me gooey. <laughs> you hate that kid for two seconds and get something gross on you. He's three. That's the way they work. Um, but anyway, sorry. I know I'm not holding my camera good, but again, my tripod's outside. And I'm lazy, so. Get off of me. It will come off. Mm, go away. Excuse me. Be back. Tuesday morning, 162.4. Wednesday morning, 162.2. <laughs> so, five sneezes later. My eyes are watering too, by the way. And and that's another thing. When I get kicked, it always affects my allergies. Always. It makes them way worse. And then I've been falling asleep on the couch, which is why I decided to grab my camera real fast. And uh, weigh in. Okay, so I brought it over here. No worries. We got it. Da 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 da. Okay, back up. Keto, five years, 69 days. October 5th, yesterday 162.4, today 162.2, <laughs> down 0 0.2, which was something I kind of figured would happen, um, which is down still, you know, 0 0.2 down, which is good, it's not horrible. But I knew that the Taco Bell would, would bother me. It it always does. It's probably their spices and stuff. And somebody did ask me, you know, aren't you um, sensitive to nightshades? And I have no actual proof of that. I don't really think so, maybe. But I'm not sure. Because over the last year or so, which my weight hasn't really dropped that much in a year or so, has it? But I've had a lot of peppers and onions. They don't affect me physically. I don't feel bad. Um, they don't seem to really completely stop me from weighing in. Or from losing. But the other things I do do. So I guess it's really kind of hard to say. But remember if you do have autoimmune issues. Nightshades like peppers, tomatoes, tamales. Stuff like that. Eggplants. Can actually hurt. <laughs> it can cause uh, inflammation really bad can cause um, all kinds of flare-ups with autoimmune. So I would say that if you have autoimmune, be very mindful of using peppers and stuff and pepper seasonings and different stuff. Not black pepper, but cayenne and stuff like that. Sorry. There, it's got my allergies now. It's got them good. Um, man, I am just... I feel like I've been beat up in a paper sack. It's like somebody just stuffed me in a sack and beat me. Um... Being kicked out of ketosis sometimes is no fun. That tired lethargy thing, it, it's almost 10 o'clock now. But I've, I've probably been laying here since like um, 7.30, 8 o'clock when I started noticing the gas real bad. It started really hurting. So, yeah. <sighs> Guarantee that way it's going to suck tomorrow. And I didn't even do anything. Now, you, you guys have heard me, if you've been following me for a long time anyway. You've heard me say that I don't really drink sodas from restaurants unless I make them myself. I usually just get ice water or I have a soda cup that I always carry around with me with Diet Dr. Pepper that I make myself. But it's been a while since I've had a problem with it. It's been a while since I was affected by it. So I guess I really haven't thought about it in quite a while. And then bam. Uh, recording a video? I love you! <laughs> love you too. Uh, so, that's really all I got for you guys tonight. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. But it probably won't be. I don't have to work tomorrow. Hope he does. <laughs> it was a nice day off. Nice little break. Um, I'm going to pay a lot of bills tomorrow. And I'm going to cry about that too. So, <laughs> anyway. Guys. I do apologize sincerely for my hand going to sleep. I'm trying to hold the phone. 
camera. Um, but my fingers are fat and swollen. <sighs> Man. And I didn't burp. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to record because I'm going to be burping on camera. But anyway, that was my day. How was yours? <laughs> um... Has this ever happened to you before? Because this can be quite painful. I, I know from experience that the whole burping thing, and I have to kind of, I can't lay down all the way flat. It gets worse. I have to stay propped up halfway until it passes. It's hurting in my back. My pants are tight. I'm going to have to take my pants off. <laughs> it's okay, though. All right, so anyway, if you need help, my contact information is in the description below, or you can drop a comment in the comment section where myself or many other very knowledgeable people will be absolutely glad to answer your keto questions. Um, yeah, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay right here and rest and sleep. Much love, many prayers. Good night, y'all.